Hello, class. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Hi. Oh, my yes, teacher. Yeah. I'm sorry I was a little late. Okay, no worries. Susanna, you're still sick? Yeah, I'm totally sick. What What do you have exactly? I have an infection in my throat. Oh, man, that sucks. And you need your voice in your job, right? Not that much, but yeah. I uh, I used to text a lot, so I'm not that bad, but I'm not able to go to work right now. Yeah, of course. You can't. Okay, so if, if you don't, if you don't want to, um, if you can't participate right now speaking, it's okay. Totally understandable. All right. Thank you. Okay. What about you, class? How are you? How was your day today? Uh, how was your weekend? I'm sorry. My weekend was good pretty evening. good. How about you? It was good. It was short. Weekends are short. Right. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good Hi. evening. Yeah. All right. I think I think you were so busy. Well, I, yeah, I am. I am very busy. Well, you know, I I rest Saturday and Sunday, but um, I am with my son all day Saturday, and I do many things. You know, I take my son to his classes. I I have to paint the house. I have to cut the grass. Okay. I have to go to the supermarket. I have to do many things. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. But I like yeah. it. I like it. Yeah. Yes. That's nice. the point. Mm -hmm. What about you, Cecilia? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. My weekend was nice because I rest a lot because the climb, climate, the weather. Because the weather was nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, nice is not hot. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, okay, nice. Um, hold on, class. I, I'm, I'm going. Can you excuse me one second, please? I will be back. Give me one minute. Okay. Okay, cool. Hi, Irma. How are you? Fine. And you? How are you? How was your weekend? It was good. It was nice. What about you? You had to work, correct? <laughs> yes, I had to work. <laughs> but weekends are a little bit easier, no? Mm, sometimes. But yesterday was very, a little complicated. I'm sorry, my I don't work. Uh -huh. The shame is on me. The what? My dog is making noise. 
Mm. I'm sorry. No, no worries. No worries. By the way, do do you want? Do you still want the the dog? <laughs> I don't know. You see, I don't, I mean, I, I do want a dog, but um, it's something I have to, it's not just like, yes, right now, because we have to, I have to talk about it with my wife. Okay. And, you know, I want to, you know, what type of dog? I don't care if it's a aguacate or not. It's just that it doesn't give me allergies because if the, do if the dog gives me allergies, it's, Oh man, but it's, you know, it's not it's a problem. Yeah. It, it would be a problem, yes. Yeah. Because, like, for example, my father, he had a boxer, mm -hmm. and that dog didn't give me allergies. Uh -huh. And then my friend, he has this other type of dog. So I think that dogs that have hair, a lot of hair, they give me allergies. Mm -hmm. My dogs that don't have a lot of hair, they don't give me allergies. Mm, it's curious. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Thank but you. anyway, send me the picture anyway, because, you know. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I have a lot of friends, like also foreigners, extranjeros, that they like to adopt. Hey, really? Okay, yeah. I will I will send the two, two photos. Sure. Of two dogs that I have. <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> sure. Okay. Do you see the lady on the video? The, yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Imagine that picture on your window at night. <laughs> no. <laughs> scary. <laughs> scary. <laughs> Can you hear? Yes. Okay. Yes, I need it. Okay, hold on. Okay. Ready to watch this new intro video? What about now? Um, I, yeah. Okay, let's let's hear the intro video. Try your best to understand what they are talking about. Good luck. Ballet to ballroom and salsa to swing. Learning to dance is one of today's hottest trends, and tango dancing is the hottest of them all. Tango fever has spread all over the world. Hi, I'm Kevin Kane, and once a month people come here to the Weeks Bridge in Cambridge, Massachusetts to learn tango. Hi, how's your tango lesson going? Oh, it's super fun. So why did you decide to take a tango class? I was just interested in dancing. And a lot of our friends come here. What's the best way to improve your dancing? Just by going to a tango club. And by practicing hard. Too. How did you learn to dance? By coming to class. And why did you decide to take tango lessons? Because I wanted to keep fit and have fun at the same time. Well, I took some lessons and I come here to practice. So what's a good way to improve your dancing? By practicing with a guy, but you have to find a good partner. Now we're going to talk to a tango instructor, Uche. Hi. Hi. Why do you think tango is so popular? I think tango is popular because it's very exotic and it's also very challenging for people. And once people learn something that they find challenging and it's very exotic, I think they feel very rewarded. Step six, back, collect, seven, and then instead of collecting, you actually switch your weight. What do you recommend for people who want to learn tango? I would recommend starting with group classes or private classes. And after you've learned the basics of tango, what's a good way to improve your moves? By going out dancing with the people that you've taken the lessons with, practicing at home, listening to the music, just feeling very comfortable with the music and then going out dancing again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How long have you been coming here? I've been coming here for about six years. Why? Because I love tango. And what is it about tango that you love so much? I think it's got great rhythm, 
I think it's got passion. It's a fun type of dance. Do you have any advice for people who want to learn to tango? A lot of people don't think they can dance until they get out here and try it. I think dancing starts by taking the initiative. Take a class. Do you prefer taking lessons in a studio or going out somewhere like this? I prefer going out and dancing. There's a different energy. It's more social. But there's nothing wrong with taking lessons. I recommend it. Why do you think tango is so popular? You can grow into it. You let your body move to the music and you create a dance with someone. And it's relaxing once you learn it. Do you have any advice for people who want to learn tango? It depends on how you learn. Some people learn best by taking classes. I learn best by watching and listening to the music and then getting brave and trying it a little. You know, learn by doing and practicing. Okay, I'm ready to take the plunge. How do I get started? It's not too difficult. Take this arm behind my back. This one up, and I just start walking. That's perfect. <laughs> Try step to the side. Good, and I step back. Now side again. Hey, this is a lot of fun. You should try it. This is Kevin, actually dancing tango from the Weeks Bridge in Cambridge, Massachusetts. <laughs> That's such a beautiful culture, huh? But in El Salvador, we have Yahaira. Oh, no. We have what? Yahaira. Yahaira. Ew, teacher. I, I respect. I respect that that lady. But Yanira Berrios, that's her name, the other? Oh, my uh, God. The same step. <laughs> Always. <laughs> do you know that? Do you know? Do you like tango? Mm, no, no. I remember my grandmother. My grandmother. She was from. She was from Catalonia, and oh, um, she loved tango. And I have very little memories of her, but I remember her trying to teach me or dancing tango with me when I was a little kid. But here's a story. Do you know that Argentinians and Uruguayans, the Uruguay, they don't like each other because of tango? Because I don't, I, I, I don't know very much about I read. I didn't know that yeah, because, was the reason. Yeah, it, tango is a, is a very big reason because I think it's Cardel. You know, um, Argentinians say that tango is theirs. Uruguay say that tango is there. So it's like Honduras. Honduras, they say the pupusas is from Honduras. Oh, no, no, no. Pupusa from El Salvador. It's called only. <laughs> but you, you, do you want to get angry one day? Put pupusa day or something in 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 YouTube. And um, there's a pupusa day, I think, in Texas. But it's so popular, it's so popular that Nicaraguans, Guatemaltecos, and Honduras, casualidad, pupusas es típico de ellos también. Really? I didn't know that. No, it's, it's just because they want to be, they want to sell. <laughs> because oh. no nobody likes paleadas or, or whatever, or there's no baleada day. So then they take pupusas. <laughs> okay. There's a video uh, that I, I promise you there's this video. Do you know Martha Stewart? Did you ever hear Martha Stewart? Yeah. There There's an episode that she makes on pupusas. Did you see that? Oh, come on. Yeah. No. Yeah, she said, um, you know, I went to a flea market and every time I go to these places, I like to eat the local food. And there was a big line and pupusas so it was hmm. and they were so good so i invited somebody to make them in the show for us and unfortunately she invited an honduran chef <laughs> and the chef said yeah pupusas are the typical food of honduras 
También oh. las hacen en El Salvador, dice. Oh, oh man. So cool. Oh, yes. What a liar. <laughs> yeah, but Martha Stewart wouldn't know, you know. <laughs> yeah, keep us saber. Yeah, you know. It's, 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 yeah. anyway. And then there's another, there's another person. I think he's from what? I don't know, but I promise you, if I find a video, I will send it to you. He started making pupusas. Dice, se hacen con frijoles, chicharrón y queso. He put beans and teros. And But listen to this. <laughs> El chicharrón era como chicharra de la diana. Oh. <laughs> and she, you know, you know what, I, what I think, what I think happened in that show that maybe the chef canceled, the person canceled and they had to improvise. And somebody <laughs> read, how do you make pupusas? And oh, pork, beans, and cheese. Okay, let's get pork and... Yeah. But let me tell you something, at least she was from Guatemala or wherever. But once mm -hmm. I, I was uh, watching a show from this woman, Olga, whatever, oh, someone yes. from... And she was Miranda. making a pupusa with uh, hard cheese. I don't know what that, Oh, my God. I was so frustrated. <laughs> oh, yeah. And she put, like, caña, right? Yeah. Sugar cane. Oh, my God. You know, you know that many people were, like, hey, stop bullying her. No, man. she That was necessary bullying. <laughs> because she deserved that. <laughs> she deserved everything. It's like... <clears throat> One time I saw her, I saw her in the supermarket. De hecho, ahí en las cascadas, I saw her. She frequent I seen her there many times. So I think she frequently goes to that supermarket. <laughs> y le gritaban, pupusa con caña. <laughs> no, pobrecita, <laughs> man. I... But, but she deserves it. Right. Anyway, so that's the traditional dan dance in tango. What is the, what do you think is our traditional dance here in El Salvador? Cumbia. Folklore. Yeah. Folklore is traditional, I think. The Carbonero. <laughs> yeah. Torito Pinto. I really hate that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry, but I don't like that music. I prefer what? rock. <laughs> you don't like cumbia? No, you. <laughs> but you know, I'll be honest with you. Everybody says they don't like cumbia, but in Christmas, everybody likes cumbia. Because mm. makes me just makes me think in Spanish. Like you feel like Christmas is coming. <laughs> oh my God, Dollar City has <laughs> Christmas ornaments. Ya tienen Christmas in Dollar City. For me, it's a day. Any day. I don't celebrate that day. The only thing I like, like about... It. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I like about Christmas is that everybody is happy that day. Yeah. And, and the food. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you get food. <laughs> Okay, so listen to this. It says, lesson objective. In this class, participants will learn how to make the proper rising and falling information question of choice. Hmm, let's see about this. Hi, making the right intonation will help you sound natural when speaking. We want you to notice the intonation in questions of choice. Listen and practice. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Do you prefer to study in the day or at night?
Okay, it says. Okay, did you understand this? First of all, it was very quick. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in questions of choice. Would you rather take broadcasting or economics? Would you rather study fashion or hospitality? Would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Do you prefer to study in the day or at night? Okay, but one thing I want you to notice is that it's uh, the coherency. For example, would you prefer to play the guitar or the violin? Guitar and violin are musical instruments. Yes. So it would be very strange to say, would you like to play the guitar or drink coffee? Doesn't make sense. Yeah, I mean, grammatically, it's correct. But really, logically, what? What does coffee have to do with guitar? Mm -hmm. Maybe an example, would you rather go to the cinema or watch movies at home? Except, yes. What's the place? I remember my mother, you know, she says, would you rather have a house or just be with your friends? When she told me, <laughs> Benita, yeah, wait. Be with my friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, so listen, by the end of this class, you will learn how to express choices using would rather or would prefer. Oh, there's a lot of videos here. Nice to have you back. In this section, you will learn how to use would rather and would prefer. Both are used for choices. Stay around, play the audio program, and try to identify the difference between those two. Would rather and would prefer. Would rather takes the base form of the verb. Would prefer usually takes an infinitive. Both are followed by not in the negative. Would you rather take a media class or a health class? I'd rather take a media class. I'd rather not take either. I'd rather take another course than study media or health. Would you prefer to study film studies or broadcasting? I'd prefer to study film. I'd prefer not to study either. Let's join a choir. I'd rather not join a choir. I'd rather not. I'd prefer not to join a choir. I'd prefer not to. I will begin with this explanation telling you the would rather and would prefer mean the same thing. As we already told you, but we want to be emphatic, both are used with choices. In case you didn't identify the difference between those two, we will explain it now so you see there's a slight difference in their structure. Would rather plus not plus base form of verb. I'd rather learn English than German. I'd rather not study at night. Would prefer plus not plus infinitive. I'd prefer to learn English. I'd prefer not to study on weekends. Note, both are followed by not in the negative form. And just in case you're wondering how to answer in short form, this is how. I'd rather or I'd rather not. And if you're using prefer, this is how to answer properly. I'd prefer to. I'd prefer not to. Ready to make choices? Would you rather take online classes or in-person classes? Would you prefer to study at night or in the morning? Type your answers on our discussion box. Okay, first of all, do you understand the difference between rather and prefer? Yes. Uh, to to make a choice. Uh, um, hold on, Ir Irma, one moment, please. Thank you. Samuel 
Nidia, Tania, Reina, and Alejandra, are you in class? Okay, Nidia is there. Hi, Nidia. Hi. Oh, thank you. I'm here, teacher. What about, what about Samuel? I never heard Samuel participate. Hi, I'm here. Hi, Alejandra. He sent you a text on the chat. Oh. I'm here, teacher. I am working. Oh, you're working somewhere? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, just wondering. Okay, so I'm sorry, uh, Irma, what is the difference for you between I rather and I prefer? Um, no, I don't know the difference exactly. No. Okay, who knows Both the two. difference? We will explain it now. I rather learn English than... Thank you, okay. Uh, not, what, I'm not, not understand. Okay. When you say when you say I rather is that you have a preference. Yes. What do you uh? Where do you rather go to the mountains or to the beach? To the mountains. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'd rather go to the mountains. So that means, and when you say I prefer, I mean, the two are similar, but I prefer is something similar. You know, I'd rather go to the mountains, but I prefer to be, I prefer the city. So it's imagine, more specific. For sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. More specific when you say I prefer. Okay. Okay, so, uh, Edgar. Okay. Go ahead. Who would you rather see in concert? You two or Coldplay? I don't know both, but I I would rather I, I would prefer see Cold. No, but my question okay. is rather. Oh, okay. So I here you rather, have to choose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would rather uh, see. I, I would rather. What is the question again? <laughs> yes. Who would you rather see in concert? You two or Coldplay? I would rather Coldplay. I would rather see Coldplay. I, I would rather see Coldplay. Oh, man. Uh, do you I, like I don't know both. I just <laughs> choosing do you, one. Do you like rock music? No. Okay. Then I forget. I, I don't know as well. Okay, then I forget. Well, Coldplay is not rock, but you know, everybody everybody thinks it's rock. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Sure. Yes. I have a question. Yes, Laura. Sorry. Um we can say that we use prefer when something like me a hundred percent and rather when something like me uh, like me uh 50 25 percent like actually that. when you say prefer is um you're being more specific like let me give you an example of the question of edgar and and what i told him who would you rather see in concert, you two or um, Coldplay? So I only gave him two options. Okay. Yes, and he said, I would rather see Coldplay than you two, but I would prefer to see Pink Floyd. So when you say prefer, you're being specific of what you want. So I would rather, see, because look, I only gave him two options. I didn't tell him, Edgar, who do you want to see in concert? No, I gave him two options. I told him, you two or Coldplay. And because he only had two options, he says, I would rather see Coldplay than you two. But I would prefer to see Metallica. Yeah. Okay. So when you say prefer is you're being more specific. You're being very specific. Okay. Uh, Stanley Edson. 
Let me teach you. Um, where would you rather go? To Europe? I... To, wait, no, let me give you an okay. option. Okay. Oh, that's very good right there, Edson. You can't answer if I don't give you options, because if I say, where would you rather go? Remember, when you say rather, you have to give two options, class. Where would you rather go, Europe or Asia? Okay, I will ra I will rather go Asia. I would rather go to Asia. Go to Asia, correct. Than Europe, than to Europe. Completely. Then? Okay, I gave you two options, Asia or Europe, correct? Yes. Uh, well, listen to my question. Where would you rather visit, Asia or I'm sorry, where would you rather go, to Asia or to Europe? I would rather go to Asia. Then? Then? To Europe. To Europe. Yes. Always, always try to answer complete. If you want to practice good English, always answer complete. Okay? Okay, teacher. Porque de ahí viene el famoso, es que yo entiendo todo, pero lo que me cuesta es hablar. Mm -hmm. Y es por eso. No sé si les di la primera clase. ¿Se acuerdan de que lastimosamente los salvadoreños contestamos solo con palabras? Con una. Mm. Y, y nos entendemos. Es cool, pero en inglés, ¿no? ¿Se acuerdan que como les digo, hey, ¿qué hicieron el fin de semana? La casa. Así hablamos. Entonces, hay gente que lo hace así en inglés. Hey, how was your weekend? My house. No, what happened in your house? I stayed in my house. I painted my house. I did nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, media. Hi, teacher. Hello. Um. The antibiotic. Do you understand antibiotic? No, teacher. You work in a far you work in a pharmacy. Antibiotic. Oh my god, yes, antibiotic. <laughs> yes, okay. Yes. What do you recommend? Would, would you rather take the antibiotic in injection or tablet? Um in injection only resets medics. In the no. tablet, uh, only two, no more. Uh, okay. They, uh, bueno, solo dos. Okay, but uh, did, libre. But did you, lo demás con receta. But did you understand my question? Listen to my question. No. It's uh, how would you rather take the antibiotic, injection or tablet? Mm. No, no entiendo como, no, como si le, quiero ver si le entiendo. Que si vendemos, no, si tenemos. No. Okay, ¿qué le pregunté a Edgar? I said, Edgar, who would you rather see in concert? Coldplay or U2? I asked Edson Stanley, where would you rather visit? Europe or Asia? So, the antibiotics, how would you rather take them? In injection or tablet or pill entonces en pocas palabras que es rather that's the objective of the class today no sé me gustaría preferir Media, okay, okay, let's okay. do one thing. 
Regresemos a la pregunta de Edgar. Edgar, who would you rather see, you two or Coldplay in concert? ¿Qué le pregunté? ¿A quién prefiere? No, wait, wait. I want to see if Nidia... Okay, Nidia, listen to this. Edgar, who would you rather see in concert, you two or Coldplay? ¿Qué le pregunté a Edgar? Nidia, hi. I don't know. <laughs> no. Okay. Toda la clase ha sido rather. Es lo que estamos hablando. Pero Nidia, y se lo digo al resto, cuando no entienden, ¿por qué no me preguntan? Yes, yo asumo que entienden. Bueno, asumo que alguien entendió porque me respondió bien. Edson me, me entendió bien. Pero, ¿me entienden? O sea, I really recommend you ask teacher I don't understand. Thank you, Laura, me hizo una pregunta. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Laura. I like questions because I want everybody to understand. Because if not, we go to the next, to the next, to the next. And if you don't understand, rather is options, Nidia. Options. Imagine, Nidia, today is your birthday. What do you rather do? Eat cake or eat pollo campero? And eat cake. So I rather eat cake. Okay, I'd rather eat cake. Yes. En el trabajo le dice, ay, ¿qué quiere? ¿Qué prefiere? Pollo o cake? I rather eat cake. Okay. That's rather. All right. <clears throat> Susana, what do you rather take right now? Tequila or medicine? <laughs> Hard question. No, I would rather take um, medicine than tequila. Oh, take tequila. It's good. No, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I love tequila. Take tequila with fresh casoda and two, two, uh, the juice of two lemons. You will be feel better. <laughs> yeah. You know what? My wife didn't believe me. And one time, you, do you feel like sometimes you want to put your, your hand inside and scratch? Because, you know, so I told my wife, drink tequila. Te va a quemar todo. She's like, uh, and it's good. Yo le digo, yo le digo a mi esposa, ¿cuándo, ¿cuándo has visto un bolito en la calle con fiebre? Jamás. <laughs> no. The best like, way to be healthy. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I, I mean, I like tequila, but I, I don't, I, I, I don't drink to get drunk. I just, if I go to, a reunion, a bar, or something, I would prefer to have a tequila or two. But only tequila. No, no lemon, no salt. Okay, so rather, rather, Alejandra Beatriz, are you there? Yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, let me ask you a question. I'm sorry, can I ask you, how old are you? Yes, I am 27 years old. 27. Yes. So you are the X generation. Yes. <laughs> okay, so are you married? Yes, I have a child and okay. I'm married too. <laughs> okay, then forget my question because I was going to ask you, would you rather get married or travel the world? Because I know that <laughs> your generation would be, no, I'd rather travel the world than not get married. They, nobody wants to get married now. Uh, why not both? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's true. Why not both? But I don't know why people don't like commitment now. <laughs> yes. Okay, so let me ask you a different question then. Uh, what kind okay. of music do you like? Um, 
um, all all type of music, like new metal. Uh, I I I can listen new new metal and reggaeton. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, would you rather go to a new metal concert or a reggaeton concert? No, a new metal concert. I rather uh, go. I rather go to a new metal concert than a reggaeton concert, but specifically. I prefer go to a Deftones concert. Oh, okay, good. Oh, you like Deftones? Yes. Heavy. <laughs> you might hate me, but I hate new metal. <laughs> people who like metal hate new metal. Yeah, I, I think people that like rock hate new metal. No, you know why? I mean, there were some good bands. I like Corn. Corn is good. Yes. I like Slipknot. But then there were some bands like Limp Bizkit or Linkin Park mm -hmm. that, no, you know, or I think it was a very big responsibility because remember that grunge started first in the 90s. Grunge, you know, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Soundgarden. And then the next wave was new metal and if you compare I don't know Limp Bizkit to Pearl Jam it's like a, there's a very big difference yes but, it's it's a soft gender I think yes but you like corn right yes I like corn have you heard they... that song from them daddy what have you heard that song from them daddy like my daddy yeah. daddy no. Oh man, I, I... listen to it, and I promise you, you would only listen to it one time, and you will never listen to it again. It's a very, <laughs> it... it's a, it's a very difficult song. Is that horrible? No, it's sad. It's, and, and mm. I read the story to that song. What happened is that um, he was abused when he was a little kid. So he was telling his mother and father, why did, like, you knew, you knew, and you didn't do anything. So at the end of the song, you just hear him screaming and crying. And um, I was like, wow. And when I read the story, the band members, they said, I didn't know what happened to him. And I when he was recording the song, he just broke. And when the yeah. song finished, he just started crying. I hate you. Why'd you do this? You know, and it's like, and they decided to leave that part. <laughs> but it's a very oh, strong I... song. It sounds like a sad, sad, super sad story. Yeah, it is. But listen to it. I mean, it's it's interesting. Daddy. <laughs> listen to it with okay. lyrics. So you'd rather go to a new metal uh, to a new metal concert than a reggaeton, but you prefer uh, Deftones. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let me see, Laura. Hi. Hi, Laura. What kind of music do you like? Um. Uh, oh wait, wait. I'm sorry, Laura. How old uh, are you? Thirty-five. 35. Yes. Okay, can you tell me, would you rather go to a Luis Miguel concert or a Christian Castro concert? I would rather... <laughs> no, no. I don't like that kind of music. Oh, you don't? Okay, so what kind of music do you like? Uh, well, I like alternative music. Do you have a uh, here uh, the group uh, DC Talk, Guardian? No. <laughs> no alternative. No, interesting. Yeah. Um, well, I like that kind of music. I like uh, new metal too. Mm, and... I am so sorry for my question. <laughs> <laughs> I like. Uh, you know, I I I like hear music. Um, I am I don't prefer a, a specific gender of music. 
So okay. Depends let, on my 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 I don't know my my feelings. <laughs> let me ask you a question then. Who would you rather see in concert, Los Caifanes or Café Tacuba? That's difficult. I would rather, yes, <laughs> I would rather. Both are great bands. Yes. <laughs> I would rather Café Tacuba. I would rather see. I would rather see Café Tacuba. Than Caifanes. Than Caifanes. I've seen Café Tacuba two times. See. Great concerts. Yeah. Where did you see Café Tacuba? Here, I saw, you know, I saw Café Tacuba for $1.50. What? Yeah, okay. Class, who, okay, Joanna, you're 41, correct? Yes, teacher, I'm 41. Okay, okay. Uh, who here is in their 40s? Me. Irma, okay. Yeah, me too. 42. Maybe? Okay. Do you remember La Feria Internacional? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, uh, like 20 years ago or something, maybe. Aún era Colón. Mm -hmm. It was Colón. Every day, listen to this, Alejandra. This is cool. This Every day they brought an international artist. Every day. Yeah. And the entrance to La Feria, not to the concert, just to La Feria. If you wanted to go to the concert, it's your option. It was 15 colones, which is like $1.80. Yeah. So, allí, and every day there were good artists. I saw Café Tacuba. I saw Tercio Pelados. <laughs> I saw La Ley. Mm -hmm. Caló. I went every day. Caló was a good group. Yeah. So imagine that for 15 colones, I saw Café and Anito Verdes too. I saw them. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it was good back then. But now that doesn't exist anymore. But do you know? Um, se me hizo Laura? Se me perdió. Laura? I, Laura Alejandra, okay, and Alejandra, are you yes, there? I'm here. <laughs> okay. Yes. Do you know? Sorry, I have to attend something from. from no, it's my, okay. My, my it's okay. Daughter. Okay, Laura and Alejandra, do you know my first rock and roll concert? Do you know who it was? No. I saw Nirvana. I. Nirvana. I, I got I got to see Nirvana live. Where? San Francisco. Cero del silencio. I saw them too. I saw them when they came. I saw Nirvana in the 1993 in San Francisco. I was 13, 12 or 13 years old. It was a crazy concert. You you were almost a child. <laughs> I have I have I have a scar. Do you know what a scar is? Cicatriz? Yes. Aww. I have a scar in my eye because I escaped from my house that day. Aww. So my mother thought I was sleeping. And I don't know why she went to the bathroom. Yo creo que mi hermana me puso el dedo. And I went to the concert. So when I came in, I opened the door and my mother was waiting for me. And she was so worried when she saw me, she threw a book or something at me and the book hit me oh. and it cut my eye. I was bleeding a lot. Oh, was terrible. Yeah, my mom, my mother was very worried. I don't think her intention was, she was like, oh, hey. and she threw me. La chancleta, no me puedo tirar, for, she threw a book. So every time I see my scar, I remember. 
<laughs> so, all right. What about Joanna? Okay, Joanna, you are in your 40s. Let's see. Here's a question for you. Who would you rather see? Timbiriche, Timbiriche, Timbiriche or Garibaldi in concert? I don't know. Um, I you rather know? see. I rather see. Well, you know well, what? Okay, I, I'm going to change. Let's change music. Now let's let's go with pupusas. What okay. do you prefer? Now, when I ask you what do you prefer, I assume that you like pupusas. Yes? Sorry, teacher. When I when I ask you, like, what do you prefer? Like, I'm going, I'm going to ask you, what do you prefer? Rice pupusas or corn pupusas? I prefer to eat rice, uh, no, corn pupusas. Okay. I prefer to eat corn pupusas. Good. Yes. But, but rice are okay too, right? Uh, I like, but I prefer corn. Okay. Entonces, en este caso, sería, I rather eat. Oh, I rather eat. I rather mm. eat corn pupusas. Okay, very good. All right. Irma. Me? Yes. Hi, Irma. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, where would you rather live? In San Salvador or in Soyapango? You live in Soyapango, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I would rather to live in San Salvador, <laughs> more centric. Why? <laughs> uh, because it's more centric? Yeah, because Soyapango is a total cow to live home every day. Oh, man, but San Salvador <laughs> is the same. Oh, uh, but it's, Soyapango is worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me change the question. Would you okay. rather would you rather work the night shift or day shift? Mm, I would rather uh, to work night shift because I have all day to take to look after my my pets because I have to wash the yard. And I Oh that's true. I, how many pets do you have, Irma? Three dogs and two cats. <laughs> Three dogs and two cats. And you rescue? There are rescued dogs and cats. Mm, yes. Well, four of them. Just one, my Siberian, that is a miss. And no pure Siberian is adopted. Um, since was a a puppy, and who do you live with? You live alone. Um, currently, my my nephew is living here. Oh, okay, no. The uh, reason why I ask is because if you work all day, yeah. who sees your pets? Nobody. That is why I want to find a home for them for. Uh, at least to the dog, to, mm. the, to the dogs, because uh, cats are more independent. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, because only you you put your the, the food in the plates and they eat all day. And okay. they are more independent. 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 And <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. Independent. Okay. It is more uh, difficult to have dogs because dogs depends every every time of of the human of the owner every for everything. That's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> 
So please uh, but, help me to <laughs> to find. But there are websites. Uh, in, do you have Facebook? Yes, I have done um for seventeen years a uh, post uh, for different cases of oh, okay. countless animals, but. For my dogs, I couldn't find a oh. mom. <laughs> okay, well, send me the pictures if I see a colleague, algún gringo, looking yeah. for. They okay. mostly want cats, though, but uh, send me the pictures anyway. Hmm. Cecilia okay. de Los Angeles, how are you? Hi, teacher. I have a question. What is that picture behind you? It's a picture about the exploradores del rey is that bible it's a it's a minister of the church oh, okay okay oh okay. it's like I... a boy scout oh, okay. something like that okay i thought it was about baseball well i can't see the picture very well but it looks like a picture. It's a boy with a hat cap. Yes. With a cap. Yes. Um, is a, how do you say, fundador? Founder. Founder of Exploradores del Rey. Oh, okay. What is his name? And I don't know because my husband is a, is a, um, um, how do you say leader? The leader. Mm -hmm. The leader uh, of that minister in our church. Okay. Oh, okay, interesting. So yes. listen, Cecilia, what would you rather have? Cold weather or hot weather? I would rather have a uh, cold weather. Because a uh, the hot weather is no healthy for the skin and the in the hair too in the hair too that's true yes but you know what i mean everybody says i'd rather have cold weather because we are tired of hot 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 but actually you can do more things with hot weather than cold weather yes it's true mm -hmm. Yeah, I have imagined poor people in New York. <laughs> but I mean, it depends how cold it is because That's I true. love cold weather. Oh, me too. I love cold weather. But when you're like in zero, it's, it's not good. I mean, oh my God, that's so frustrating. It is. And you can't do anything. You can't move. You have three shirts, five sweaters, one jacket and... <laughs> and you're still freezing <laughs> I remember I went to California one time and um, it was so cold do you know what is the water sprinkler no the water sprinkler lo que riega el agua la, las regaderas in, in the grass in the grama uh. They're automatic, you know, they push and they just start throwing water. Mm -hmm. The water froze in the air. Wow. It was it was amazing. It was can you imagine that? It was very cold. One time, one time I was in, in Spain and we were like uh minus four or something like that. And I was taking a shower and the hot water, um, how do you say it? Um, uh, se acabó. <laughs> Finished. Ran uh, out, finished. ran out. Ran out, all right. So the hot water ran out and I had to uh, put something on my, like a towel on my uh, on my head and go to my mom's place to take a shower because I, I couldn't handle the, the cold of the water. Really? And it was an hour on, on the on the metro to go to her house. And I was, oh my God, I, 
I, I feel my bones breaking. Oh, man. Yeah. Have you ever been to San Miguel? Yeah. Man, people in San Miguel are very dramatical. I lived, I lived in San Miguel two years. Mm -hmm. and maybe at six in the morning... It's not cold, it's fresco. <laughs> because San Miguel is 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 stupid hot. Not that much. No, San Miguel is very hot. I remember taking I a shower. <laughs> I remember taking a shower and when I'm changing, I am sweating. But like at six in the morning. Está fresco. You know, maybe like like right now the weather, and you see people with sweaters, you will find us. <laughs> and because you know, they don't all they know is hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's true. How yes. that can be? be no, because really Sammy. San Miguel is very hot, so when when oh, they yeah. feel when they feel something that is not hot, it's automatically cold for them. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I remember I was a teacher there, and um, in the classroom, the students would tell me, "Teacher, puede pagar el aire." I said, "No, I'm sorry, it's direct." Mentiras, pero. No iba a pagar el aire. It was too hot. <laughs> <laughs> Yo ni salía de mi aula, man, because it was so hot. <laughs> yes. Okay, class. So, wow. so basically it's this. Look, rather is options. Hey, do you rather go to the movies or go to the discotheque? I'm giving you two options. Prefer is more specific. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. Okay. And we'll do a little bit more about that tomorrow, but I am not going to ask you the questions. You will. You I will break you in groups and you will ask questions, okay? All right. Okay. All right. So thank you and have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow. That do you I'll see you tomorrow. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Good night, everyone.